Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the beautiful Napa Valley up on Howe Mountain. Mountain, which um, is uh, in the northeastern side of Napa Valley. And um, there's a big mountain town up here um, called Angwin. It's actually a small town. And this is where a lot of really, really good Cabernet Sauvignon grows. We lived right here in the Napa Valley. And actually I used to live on this mountain for a couple years and I know it very well. So we're gonna film up here today. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, mushroom foraging and uh, show you the mountain. Where we love to go mushroom foraging. We usually do it right around Christmas time. Um, we'll see what's what's available today. You know, if you, the mushroom season up here is short, you could be two weeks early. You could be two weeks late. Hopefully, we got right right on. <laughs> you got your basket. Yeah. First couple mushrooms. These are scattered throughout the mountain. They are not edible, not that I know of. Most little brown mushrooms aren't, but that's the first sighting, which is a good thing. It's very moist up here today. More signs of life here. This is definitely not edible. This is some type of Amanita. Not edible, but no, don't. Signs <laughs> of life, definitely not edible. This one I believe is edible. We'll have to check it out on the guidebook at back home, but we'll have to take a look. Go. So this is what we want to look for in the ground when you're foraging. It's like a kind of like a turtle shell type thing, and then you pull it back, and what's under there is usually some type of fungus. Now there is, but it, this isn't this isn't one that's edible. But that's what you want to look for. Another prime example of what you look for, kind of an outcropping. See that beautiful mushroom. Awesome. Yeah. We'll have to check the guidebook. Beautiful. We'll have to check the guidebook. So this is a, an edible Amanita for sure. I forgot the whole name behind it, but I ate a couple of these last year. They're really good. See the kind of golden cap with the white in the center? Beautiful mushroom. Check this out. Huge. Oh my gosh. See that? Oh my gosh. Look how big that is. Beautiful. Nice. Here's Raquel's find. This one was sticking out of the ground just like this. I didn't move any dirt at all. I'm gonna take this one. It's another one of those edible California Amanitas. Beautiful mushroom. Yep, see that white forming on the cap? Yep, gorgeous. These are delicious eating. Yay! Just you like found that. your first big one this year to check, hey. So there's a kind of a ring of these Amanitas right here. You can see this one big outcropping one right here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. See that? It's huge. You got your shovel? Yep. One second. I'll grab it. Outcropping right here. There's two of them under here. Two large ones. Look at that. Beauties. Yeah. Ooh. I lost some of the stem. Take it. Big cap. Yeah. So I do believe we found the Matsutake area. Um, we'll check out a couple of these first. Here's a little one right here. Beautiful. See that Matsutake mushroom? Yeah. Gorgeous. Right here too, see? See this? That's Matsutake. Boom, treasure trove. Bam. See that? Nice. Now watch. Here's another one. See how they kind of group together? Boom. There's another one. Here's another, another small one. one. Boom. So we're going to search this area. So we found the glorious Matsutake. I figured we would. It was a really good time to come out here. Uh, what is it, December 9th? Yes. December 9th, up here in Angwin. Exclusive Matsutake are usually pretty buried under there. Raquel found these two little babies. They're beautiful. Good job. There's one. Big trove of Matsutake and edible California Amanita. Hell yeah. Look at those beauties. 
I think Raquel may have found chanterelles up here. I don't think we've ever found these here before. I think she might have found chanterelle. Look at that. Holy cow. So we're headed down the backside of Howl Mountain right now where there's a fresh uh, spring where we like to fill up several gallons full of the most delicious spring water ever. The best. The best water ever. So uh, on your way. I'll show you where our spot is. Yeah. There's the spring. Doesn't look like much. Best water on earth though. Drink it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, babe. Look at this little guy. Fairly unexpected. Let me zoom in. <sighs> it's Let's a matzotake mushroom. Oh. <laughs> we'll add that one to the batch. It's a beautiful mushroom. You just can't can't lose out here on Hell Mountain. Gorgeous. Aww, it's beautiful. Here's another amanita. I'm just I'm sitting on the side of the California amanita. Beautiful mushroom too. I think we're gonna take it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so this is the local market in St. Helena, Sunshine Foods, about 15 minutes away from where we just were. We're gonna check out the, the mushroom prices the mushroom to see uh, if they have out. a price on chanterelles so you guys can see how much we forage and how, how much right it's here, worth. Right here in the market, the chanterelles, $39.85 a pound. This, this is the final breakdown after cleaning. Got the Matsutake, got the California Amanita, and we got the beautiful chanterelle, the white chanterelle. I'm gonna see if we can weigh them up and see the exact poundage, but give me a second. We're gonna do the Matsutakes first, which are about $40 a pound. And I think I got a couple pounds here, so. We shall see. We know the chanterelle price because we saw it at the store, which is about $40 a pound too, 39 and change. Granted, these, uh, we washed them so they're a tiny bit wet, so that obviously can add a tiny bit of weight to them. And of course, when you dry mushrooms. All right, there you go. Right here, let me recalibrate the scale here. There we go. Two pounds, nine ounces, so it's about just under two pounds. So this is uh, roughly worth about $80 US. That's the Matsutake. Oop, I missed one of them there, so maybe had another ounce or less. All right, let's do the chanterelles. These are so beautiful, so beautiful. And there's about the same amount of chanterelle, but these are pretty heavy. They're very dense, thick mushrooms. They seem to be heavier than the, a lot heavier actually than the matsutake. And we have Three pounds, four ounces, so minus 10 out of that. So we have about two and a half pounds of chanterelles. So two and a half times, two and a half times uh, about uh, 39.95 a pound or 40 bucks a pound. So we've got about $120 worth of chanterelle mushrooms there. The other ones, the uh, California Amanitas, like they don't, I don't know a price on those. These are wild mushrooms. They don't really sell these in the store, so it's gonna be hard to estimate. But we'll just throw it out there that they're like 20 bucks a pound. So they're probably, being exotic mushrooms, more expensive than that. But let's weigh them out. And there's a lot of these. These were very large mushrooms. Very large. These are pretty soggy, though. These are really wet. We had to clean these really well, and they have very thick, 
gills in them so they hold a little bit more moisture but I'm guessing we have over three pounds of these all right let's calibrate this four pounds nine ounces so we got about three and a half pounds let's say roughly three and a half pounds of the the ammonia there so all in all, I'd say there's probably about $300, $350 worth of mushrooms that we foraged. So it was a really good haul. So we're doing the chanterelle uh, pasta tonight. We're going to do a paparadel, which I handmade. It took me 21 egg yolks and three cups of flour for that. I hand rolled it out on my pasta machine. Then I got a few cups of the chanterelles chopped up. I'm going to marinate those. Uh, all right, I'm going to uh, saute those with some onion, some garlic. And eventually I'll use some whole cream, a little bit of sage, and then we're gonna make a beautiful pasta dish with them. But these are our forged mushrooms. He's getting a chanterelle facial.